Hi and welcome back to my channel. So this is episode four of this mini series of how to crochet a granny square blanket. So well done to everybody who's kept up and started from scratch especially. Had loads and loads of feedback from people who have not been able to crochet before or found it you know, difficult to, um, to get the stitches or to, to crochet the stitches together, the squares together. So well done to everybody for, for keeping up. So this is the last episode today and you should be at a point where you've now crocheted all your 20 squares together or however big or small you're making your blanket and today we are going to put the border, crochet the border around the edge and this is the really the, the very last part. If you wanted to you could add in a bit more of a border but stick around to the end of this video and I'll show you what else you can do if you wanted to make it that bit bigger or a bit more interesting. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks to all of you who have done that this week. A lot more people are now commenting and messaging me directly about how they're getting on uh, or wanting to know different techniques, which I'll be doing over the next few weeks and months. Um, and if you click the little bell, then you'll get a notification every time I put a new video on, just so you don't miss anything. So let's get crocheting. So here we are with our finished blanket of 20 squares. Um, and they're all crocheted together, which is what we did in the last episode. And the link for that, if you haven't seen it, is in the description below. Um, and I've already prepared a little bit of the border to show you what the border will look like when you do it. Because I just think it's easier to learn something when you can actually see the finished result first. And here it is, the border. I just started anywhere. It doesn't matter where you start on the blanket. And you're literally doing those same three treble crochets and a chain stitch in between all the way along. The tricky part, I guess, is when you come to the in between two of the crocheted squares, you're going into the corner one <coughs> of the first square here. Then you're doing a chain stitch and then you go into the corner of the next crocheted square. But as you can see, it just looks really seamless and looks really nice and gives it that finished edge you can see where we are here at the minute with this edge and it's kind of goes down a bit almost in a v-shape it looks okay you could leave it like that but to just finish it off and put the border on it just gives it that real finished and professional look and feel to your blanket um now in terms of color you can choose any of the six colors that you've used for your blanket or you could you know introduce another color for the border it really doesn't matter I just chose to do the uh, red because I just really wanted it to pop I sort of to decide I just literally held up each of the balls in my kit to see which one I thought would look better and, and I went for the red so I'll start over the other side now show you how to cast that border stitch on and complete the blanket I've got my red ball of wool here and I'm just taking that first bit off so I've got my working yarn here so I've got no tension from the ball of wool and I'm just going to pick a place where I'm going to start could be anywhere I prefer to start in the middle of one of the squares here so we're just going to start the stitches with a normal uh, slip stitch as we have done throughout the other bits of the blanket so bring the wool through to the front put a little slip stitch in pull it you can use your crochet hook for that part if it's easier and then just pull the tension on both those parts of the wall and I always keep this little tail end I talk quite a lot about this tail end of the wall I just hold it in my right hand behind the blanket um, in the same hand that I've got holding the crochet hook it just keeps it out of the way so now you're ready to go with your starting off just as before with your three chain to make the first post so one two whoop, two three so that starts you off and then we're just doing another treble crochet into that chain space. So take your yarn over the hook through this chain space, yarn over, pull it through with the three stitches on the needle, on the, on the crochet hook, take the yarn through the two stitches and through the next two. And that's your second one done. Do that again. And as I say, if you need a reminder on how to do this stitch, the uh, link to those YouTube tutorials will be in the description below. So you could just click on that link. And then I've done one chain stitch in between. And then again, a treble crochet into that next chain space. One, two, and three. 
and then another chain stitch. So I'm just going to move along and I can feel now that that tension is just picking up on that ball of wool. So again, get some more working yarn and I'm going to move along to the end of this first square just to show you what that corner, how that's going to look. So here we are, we're at this, this juncture here and the next chain space you've got is on the corner. So you know how we've talked quite a lot <clears throat> about this corner stitch and how there's two treble crochet, two lots of treble crochets in the threes in each of the corners. So this time we're going to go into that chain space right in the centre of those two sets of three and do another set of three treble crochets. So one, two, three. Then just as usual, another chain space. And then we go into the next one on the next square. So we're going into that corner, right into the corner chain space, doing three treble crochets. And what that does, it really helps to bring those two individual squares, even though they've been crocheted together when you, when you uh, attach them last time, it just really secures them and brings them nicely together and just changes it from the look of that sort of V shape where it looks unfinished to being a straighter edge where it's more finished off. So I'm just going to work along here till I get to the actual corner of the blanket. And that is exactly the same as all the other corners and all the other individual squares we've done that we're going to do two lots of three treble crochets. Sounds really complicated, doesn't it? Two lots of treble, th <coughs> three trebles of crochets. It's not as complicated as it sounds. And I think this is sometimes what can put people off crocheting, all the kind of technical language. Um, and it's more simple than that. And that's what I like to do in my tutorials. Make it simple, keep it simple, because once you've got it, once you've got this basic stitch, it is simple and the terminology can sometimes put people off. So let's, let's keep it simple. So here we are in the corner. So you can see I've worked all across those two squares on the border stitch. And now with this corner, exactly the same as every other corner, I'm just gonna go into that chain space and do three treble crochets to make that first petal shape. So one, two, three. Do a chain space as we would normally in between those and then do an another three treble crochets into that same chain space. And that gives you the same corner and it gives it, and then I'll do one chain there, just gives it that ability to move around the corner. So from that uh, square that's right in the corner, you've got those trebles going up and then that just finishes it off. And then you can turn your work and carry on into the next chain space. <clears throat> and then you're just going to carry on and carry on till you get to the next corner until you get all the way round with your blanket around the border and then that is it and you just when you get to the end when you get all the way round and you've met back up to the start then you just weave in your um, wool tie it off and that's it completed having gone round the edge of my blanket with the border I've now met back up with where I started here so I'm just going to show you how to finish that off so I'm just on my second treble crochet. So I will do that here and then my third one and a chain stitch just as normal. And then we're going to just tie that off. So go into the very right hand corner of the first stitch that you did on the border, put the yarn over your hook, pull it through one and through the second one. And that is it. Cut your yarn off, tie this through just as you have before and pull it tight and then just to weave in the back um, of the, the threads I can either use um, an embroidery hook which I showed how to use the other day a tapestry needle or you can just use your crochet hook just to weave it through a couple of the strands just so that it secures it in place and then you're finished tie off the loose ends and your blanket is complete. So there's your border. 
Now you can leave your blanket as it is here or you could make another row in a different colour um, and just go around again um, two or three times and then it, what, what that can also make is this is the centre of your blanket and then you can just put the border on, maybe do three or four rows in another colour, take that for example, and then you could finish it with a different colour or finish it off with another row of red. Just all the different design features that you could really bring into your blanket now, just to make it that bit more individual. And that's it. We've covered all the skills that you need to do to make your blanket. And I hope that you've enjoyed watching this series of uh, videos of how to crochet this lovely granny square or at least get the skills that you need to make exactly what it is that you want. Some people have been messaging me and they've been making bigger squares and putting those together to make blankets for their children or their dogs or whatever it is that you've, you've gained from this series of four episodes. So please put your comments um, below. In the description box below, you'll see the links for the other videos and there'll be mo more videos coming up in the next few weeks and months. But if there's anything that you particularly like to see or know more about, then please, again, just get in touch or put in a comment below if you want to see my sewing room because I knit, crochet and sew. And you can see me on Sewing Street TV as a regular guest designer um, on Sky 670 or on Freeview 74. So I'm a regular guest designer on, the, on that uh, channel as well. So you can see me regularly on there if you want to know anything about behind the scenes or anything else that I do in my crafty life, then please comment below and I'll happily give you a quick stop tour or uh, a little video about how I do things. But lots more look to come um, in the future anyway. And don't forget to post me your pictures of your lovely blankets. I love granny squares. They're my absolute favourite thing to do when it comes to crochet. So please send me your pictures, send me your messages because I just love to see what you've been doing and uh, looking forward to seeing more of those. So we will see you in the next video. Take care for now.